Houseboy, published in 1956 and written by Ferdinand Oyono, is a classic, captivating, heartbreaking, yet sympathetic narrative about trust and the abuse of power. In its short length, Houseboy satirically addresses the heavy topics such as colonization, cultural brainwashing, identity crisis, slavery, Christianity, immorality, exploitation, and hypocrisy. The novel begins in Spanish Guinea with a Frenchman on vacation who finds a dying and mortally wounded black man called Toundi. The Frenchman finds his diary, which is called an exercise book by Toundi Ondowa, where he reads Toundi's history. The rest of the story consists of the diary that the Frenchman is supposedly reading. The first exercise book flashes back to Toundi living with his family in the village. Like the other young boys in his village, Toundi is drawn into the Christian world by the gifts he receives from the touring white European Catholic missionaries. Despite his parents' protests, he always receives these gifts with open arms. This is how Toundi first becomes acquainted with Christianity and Catholicism. Violence later erupts at home over Toundi's defiance of his father, and after Toundi refuses to obey his father, his father threatens to beat him over his disobedience. Toundi then flees to the Christian father, Father Gilbert, for solace. He asks the amused priest to take care of him as his worker at his father's dismay. Though Toundi's father disagrees with the Christian practice, Toundi abandons him and follows Father Gilbert anyway. So under Father Gilbert's tutelage, Toundi is christened Joseph and given new clothing. He soon learns to read and write and becomes Father Gilbert's houseboy. When Father Gilbert's tour of the surrounding villages comes to an end, Toundi accompanies him to Dangan, where he begins to work for him at the St. Peter Catholic Mission. While at the mission, Toundi begins to truly observe the racial dynamics, discrimination, and division of the native Africans and whites who come to pray and pay their respects to God. After a few months, Toundi's life takes an unexpected dark turn when Father Gilbert dies from a horrible motorcycle accident. Father Gilbert meant the world to Toundi. Although he patronized him sometimes, the man was all that Toundi knew. With Father Gilbert's death, Toundi is left to wonder what will become of him in the world without his benefactor to protect him. Toundi is soon interviewed and accepted as a houseboy for the new commandant, who is the man in charge of the surrounding colony, a position that strangely gives him much, much prestige among his fellow black natives. Toundi believes in his own words that being the dog of the commandant is like being the king of dogs. He soon moves into the commandant's residence and begins working for the Stan man who is feared by all the native Cameroonians as well as many Europeans. Still, though the commandant is stern with Toundi, they get along quite well that Toundi feels content with his living conditions. However, later on, Toundi's life is impacted forever yet again when news arrives that the commandant's wife, referred to throughout the novel only as Madame, is to arrive from Paris to live at the residence with them in Dangan. When she arrives initially, everyone is dazzled by her beauty and apparent kindness. She becomes the most beautiful of all the white women in Dangan, to the chagrin of the other wives in the city. It is evident that because of her beauty, that European and African men alike, even those with wives, have strong desires directed towards her. He witnesses the last four comments made by others when she walks through the town. Toundi also finds her attractive and in a sense falls in love with her, but Toundi witnesses firsthand how enrapturing Madame is when he is in her presence. Over time, she gradually begins to lose respect and kindness towards Tohundi as she becomes bored of staying at Dangan. When her husband the commandant leaves her behind for another tour, Madame begins a secret affair with a ruthlessly racist prison director called M. Moreau. Even though Tohundi does not approve of this, he is still only the houseboy and really has no choice but to act as a messenger between this sinful affair of the two. He is made the go between, carrying notes back and forth between the two very emotional individuals. Neither of the two trusts Toundi or like him, 
but similar to Tawundu's forceful situation, they have no choice but to use him to grease out the secrecy of their affair smoothly. The chickens soon come home to roost. When the commandant eventually finds out that Madame is having an, aff an affair and all hell breaks loose at the Dangan residence, it also reveals that Madame has had a history of indiscretions, but they soon patch things up anyway. Sophie, a lover of a water engineer, is accused of conspiring to steal his workers' salaries with the help of Toundi. Toundi is taken to prison, where he is tortured into confessing to a crime he was never involved in. Toundi is held in a hut near the police headquarters. Fortunately, he has a muscular friend who works there named Mendim, who becomes his ally. M. Moreau instructs Mendim to assault Toundi, but Mendim ignores the instructions and throws ox blood on him to make it look like he is deeply wounded. However, it eventually turns out Mendim's kind efforts to save him turn out in vain as Toundi becomes sick and Mendim takes him to hospital. The service is really slow, but a doctor eventually attends to him, who discovers that Toundi's ribs have been broken and have punctured his bronchi because of the earlier torture at the hands of the Frenchman. While Toundi is at the hospital, in a dazed state, Emoro returns with the white doctor and still talks about punishing Toundi even more. Toundi then escapes the hospital and heads to Spanish Guinea, to where he is first introduced in the beginning of the novel internally bleeding to death. If you have an African novel you want to see Dudu summarize, do not hesitate to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more original great Afrocentric content like this. Thanks for watching Mimsy Dudu summaries.